Welcome to a video presentation of Chapter 6, Section 5 in McDougall and Tell's 8th grade textbook entitled Solving Multi-Step Inequalities. Now we've actually already solved inequalities this year once. So none of this is actually new stuff. The only thing we're doing is we're taking two things we've already worked on and putting them together. As you can see on the left side of the board there, I've got a lot of information that you should have already gotten at least once this year. But here it is again for you. As you can see on the very left side of the board, I have all the inequality symbols again for you in case you've forgotten what greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to happen to be. The next thing is something you may have forgotten. Remember, when we solve multi-step inequalities, this is the one where we have to make the number line with the dots and the shading. So you can see I've got there the dots for you again in case you forgot what they happen to be. Greater than or less than, use an open dot. Greater than, or or greater than or equal to and less than or equal to, use a closed dot. And then you can see the last thing I have over there on the left side of the board are the steps on how we solve multi-step inequality. Remember, when we solve multi-step inequalities, we actually change them to an equal sign, change the inequality sign to an equal sign, and solve it, and then we just put the sign back in. So we solve it just like we do a regular equation, which is why this happens to be in chapter 6, because we're basically doing all the same things we did all last week. Okay. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at these problems. Again, these are not terribly different from what you did last week. The only thing would be the new step, the number line step. Right, but other than that, there's really not a whole lot that's going to change here from what you did last week. Just some additional steps. All right, let's go to example one. 10 plus 4y is less than 18. 10 plus 4y is less than 18. So the very first thing I want to do is go ahead and change this into an equal sign. So I want to change it into 10 plus 4y equals 18. Now, remember our approach has been, and always will be, to get the variable on the left side and to get the number on the right side. And there's a reason I teach you that way all throughout is because even though you don't have to do it that way, when we get to solving inequalities, if the variable's on the left, the shading always matches the way the inequality symbol points. Okay. Where if you do it backwards, it's the opposite, and that's hard to remember. So that's why we do it that way. Okay. So we know that 4y is where it's supposed to be on the left side. <coughs> we know that 18 is where it's supposed to be on the right side. The only thing that's not where it's supposed to be is the 10. So I've got to go ahead and move the 10 out of the way. And I'm going to do that by subtracting. When I do that, I get 4y equals 8. So now I have just a very basic multiplication equation. Remember, multiplication equa equation is solved by doing the opposite to divide. Divide across by 4. And I've got y equals 2. Now, once you've solved it through, now you put the original sign back in. So this problem started off with less than. I'm going to change this back to less than. So it becomes y is less than 2. Now that's half of the answer, but it's not all of the answer because remember, these <laughs> problems again also have to have that number line solution here. Remember for the number line, there are two things that have to go on the number line for me. Zero always and the number in question. The number in question being the number that's left in the problem. In this case it happens to be two. So I've got to put 0 and 2 on my number line. Now i got to do the dot thing. Remember, the dot thing is based on the symbol. 
This is a less than, and according to rule, less than uses an open dot. So I'm going to put an open dot on that, too. And then less than shades everything off to the left. All the numbers that are less than 2 are to the left. So we shade off to the left. And that is the total solution to example 1. You have to have all those elements in order to get the answer correct. Okay, so let's try a very similar problem. Example 2. 22 plus 5k is less than or equal to 52. 22 plus 5k is less than or equal to 52. Alright, so again, first thing I want to do is go ahead and change that into an equal sign. So I'm going to rewrite this as 22 plus 5k equals 52. <coughs> Now, there's only one element here that has to get moved, and it has to get moved to the right side. What has to get moved to the right side? Okay. 22. The 22 has to get moved to the right side. So, in order to do that, I'm going to have to subtract 22 from both sides. That'll give me 5k equals 30. So now I have a very basic multiplication equation. How do I undo multiplying? Divide. divide. And I'm going to divide each side by five. five. Good. So when I do that, I get k equals six. So now I've got it all solved out. I'm going to put my original sign back in, so it's going to become k is less than or equal to 6. What two things go on my number line? 0 and 6. 0 and 6. Type of dot? Closed. Closed dot, shading left or right? Left. Left. Good. 